What is up then guys, that you're doing well, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm doing something a little bit different because it's not every day you get a YouTuber who's bigger than yourself making content on your parts and putting it on their YouTube. So I thought be a good opportunity for us to watch it together. I've not watched it, I've been getting tagged in it quite a bit, but I am like, is it good? Is it going to be bad? I'm quite nervous. So yeah, you think you guys are going to be watching it with me for the first time. Um, and just a little channel update, we've got parts now that are currently being powder coated. I don't think you guys are ready for it, they're going to be sick. Just, I, I always say they're going to be sick on those six, so just trust me. So they should be with us by the end of next week. I've also got parts for the ST150 Turbo build, which are currently being made, which should be here within a week to two weeks, because they are being custom made. But yeah, anyway, to the topic of today's video, Mr. J.M.N. Carter. Mr. Jason Carter, he's done a video on installing um, one of my spark plug covers. It's been out for about 17 hours now, and it's got over, almost 400 views, which is sick. And I'm looking at it now. That's 35 likes and zero dislikes, so it must be a good video. So thank you, Jason. And anyway, let's get to it. You'll be watching it on the green screen. I'm going to try and make myself smaller so you can watch it completely. But yeah, I think you'll just be watching it with me, something different. I thought, why not? Let's give it a crack. So yeah, let's go. So I don't know if that intro music's copyrighted, so I'm going to fast forward that till we get to him. There we go. You right then guys, so welcome back to a brand new video. Today Come we're on. fitting a engine bay cover. Now it's actually from a mate of mine. He's hey actually man. a YouTuber as well, Mark L. Knight. He's actually created these engine bay covers for the ST150 engine. They've been perfectly designed to fit just over like the HT lead area. Um, now I wanted to fit bonnet vents. Um, I've been wanting to fit bonnet vents for a while. But I didn't want water to come through the bonnet vents and just sit on the top of the engine um, and just in like the spark plug area. So this is kind of like perfect design for it. Wasn't the biggest fan of the big, big um, kind of covers which fit. And sorry, just to say, that's the reason why I designed it because I see that like, all of these companies making massive like what's called it rocket cover, rocket cover, spark plug covers, whatever you want to call them. And they're always like that big, that long, covers the whole of the spark plug cover. Whereas this one, small, sexy beautiful that's that's what i was going for and i feel like we've hit that on the head and all of the feedback i've had recently has agreed with that yeah so let's back to the video switch fit over the top of the whole engine i much prefer this kind of look here now the quality of these does look really good they've been perfectly created and designed to perfectly fit just in all the tiny little recesses on the engine as you can see these tiny little cutouts just here um, they're quite thick, they're aluminium, so they are pretty strong. At the moment, this is just a brushed aluminium, I, be I believe, but I'm thinking... And yeah, so I always leave it, I wanted to leave it bare at first, but I thought that the finish was, it wasn't the best, especially when it comes out of the laser cutter. So I do get it brushed just because it gives you, like, guys, a base start for it to have, like, a nice finish on it, paint it, do whatever you want. But anodizing, I'm not heard of that, that would be quite sick to do and quite sick to see. But yeah, the plan of these is literally just give them to you as, like, a starter. And then you guys go full ham. I've had people like putting paint splatters, dipping it, fly eye. Do whatever you want to them. Just try and keep the logo on there. But yeah, let's back to the video. Thinking to get this either painted or anodized purple just to match the colour theme, but I might do that in the future at some point. But yeah, this was only about 25 quid, I think, which is pretty decent price in my opinion but i have also got a discount code for these if you guys are interested i will link his uh, website i'll just put the discount code here which is jmnc10 for 10 percent off with the discount as i said i think it's about 25 quid but you get all the fitting kit there's only uh, two bolts and these two kind of let's just grab them you've got these small kind of i don't know what they are but they've been specially made to fit in these two small holes in the top of the engine and base. <laughs> I've got to find that. Oh shit, mate, that better not be gone. Oh fuck, how am I gonna get that? Do not do what I just done and nearly lost one of these. And yeah, like I said when I made the video of me installing it on this, these are custom made fittings, so that's why I've not put extra in the because in the package, because they are quite expensive. So don't lose them when they come, but I think he's found it, so yeah, let's get back to it. Because these are important. I will open the engine bay and show you exactly what you need to do, but these do just very tightly fit into these two small holes in the top of the engine cover, uh, the rocker cover. And as you put the screw through it, they are threaded on the inside. As you put the screw through it, um, they do kind of flare up and open up to grip inside that hole. 
Um, so that's that. Sent me out a couple of little stickers, so I'll probably chuck one of these on my sun strip just on the inside. And he also sent me out a little pack of Harry bows, so cheers mate for that. Um, but yeah. He had my last Harry bow as well. Literally I was packing all of the orders, Jason Carr's coming through. So, can't even open it, it's arms down knackered. But if you're wondering why there's no Harry bows in your recent packages, Jason's fault, sorry. Yeah, let's get to the engine bay and we can have a look at how you fit these. It's so simple and easy, you'll see when I do it, it's simple. Right then, so this is my engine at the moment. Obviously if I'm adding um, bonnet vents just up here, there is gonna be water just sitting in this recess here. So I wanted to get a engine bay cover just to protect from water maybe sitting in here and maybe seeping through into the spark plug area. But as you can see, this fits perfectly. If I just get the camera off actually. So as you can see, this fits in perfectly in all of these little crevices and they're perfectly made to fit in there. So what you did say about the spark, the HT lead, sorry, um, you just want to try and make sure that they're as flush as possible. Um, especially on this point here. They're not too bad, they are poking up a little bit, but these two screws just sit on these two holes here if you can see them. So it just rests in there like that. Now it's only secured by these two points, so this point, this side can lift up slightly. So what I did with my spark plugs before um, I sent these out is what I do is I get a cable tie, wrap them all up, and there's like a little gap, you'll probably see it on your, spot, on your rocker cover, and I pulled it and pulled it and, and tied it down to that. And then I took that cable tie off and the, the, the spark plug covers haven't caught since. So obviously I haven't done any, any damage to the spark plug covers because I have done it to those who've got like Burton Power, spark plugs, um, HT leads. And I think it is just like the more performance ones, the more flexible they're going to be. Whereas the ST150 ones, especially if they're quite old, they are going to be quite rigid. So there is obviously ways get performance spark plug covers, weigh them down. Just it's, it's you'll, you'll figure it out. Slightly if your HT leads aren't perfectly kind of sitting flat. He did say something about aftermarket HT leads are a little bit better, so a bit bit more flexible, um, which I might do in the future. But yeah, let's just work on getting these things in these small holes, then whack them through in the top, and that's pretty much it done. Right, so all you really need to do is with these, he said just give them a little pinch so they look a little bit smaller at the bottom, so they will just push in a little bit easier. And if they are tough to get in, what you can do is leave them like that, put the screw in the top and just tap it down with a screwdriver. So we'll get both of these just pushed into the hole slightly. Just like that. Now they are pretty tight already, they're kind of gripping. So I'm just going to get a screwdriver, put these in by a few threads and then just tap them down. So yeah, as you can see, I haven't pressed these down fully because they are pretty tight already. So I'm just going to put a few turns on this just like that, and I'll do the same with the other one as well. So yeah, now they're screwed in a couple of turns, I've just got this Allen key bit, um, and I'm just gonna tap that down in there perfectly, remove that screw, and as I said, as these screws are screwed in fully, the bottoms will flare out, so it'll grip even tighter. So I'll just do that one as well. That one's all in. So that literally just- Engineering. That's what we do, boy. Obviously these screws can possibly get some new screws, maybe black ones or something. But I'll just put that down in there, find where the threads are. Do the same on this side as well. And literally just tighten them down. Now it does get a little bit tighter to turn the further you go down. I think that's just the the uh, nut or whatever it's called just flaring out. <coughs> so now pretty tight. COVID. Now they're both nice and tight. Now it's just slightly up on this point here, but I think if them HT leads were kind of down there, I think he said that he'd had some weight on his HT leads, so they kind of bent them a little bit. But yeah, I might just try and tighten that up a little bit more. 
So that is now a lot more stable. Um, obviously it's just this side because there's no bolts on this side, but really don't think that's gonna be an issue. I might just try and poke these down a little bit more at some point. But yeah, that's all fitted. And I think that looks pretty clean, you know. I am happy with that. And there we go, guys. It really is that simple. So it literally only took me like two minutes to fit this. Um, the only thing which does annoy me a little bit is this side, which is the HT leads, obviously, but I think if I upgrade them, um, they might be a little bit more supple or might be able to like poke them down a little bit better. Um, could actually stick that down a little bit, but you know, it's just a, one of those things. But I think that is really good product, which is clearly designed perfectly for this engine. Um, and it's exactly what I wanted it for. And obviously if I do add the bonnet vents, which will just be sitting above there. Because that part is actually coming up, what I think I'm gonna do in the future is, rather than making it a bit more intricate, I'll probably make it a little bit shorter. So let me just try and get one just to show you. Yeah. So from here to here, like from here to here, is probably a little bit shorter. Um, and then we'll bring the logo over just so, yeah, the cover won't be as long as what it is now, but hopefully for you guys with your OEM spark plugs and HT leads um, there won't be much bending up for you but yeah there's no there's I've had many people buy these and they've said that there's no issues with it and they've figured out a way so cable ties just wear and tear just push it down and that problem should be sorted but if not then yeah in the future we will be making I think probably shorter ones unless if I find out a way to make that pin it down from the end as well which it's as simple as a cable toy, but not everybody likes cable toy underneath their engine bag. But yeah, let's go back to this. Water isn't going to be going down, and mass amounts of water isn't just going to be sitting down in the uh, HT lead area and the spark plugs. So give me a peace of mind for that aspect. But yeah, as I said, I might get this anodized at one point or just paint it myself. But he did say that he might do a few more designs of these in the future. Um, I just wanted to go with the the plain one with no holes. Um, he has got one with triangle cutouts in the middle. Um, obviously, I mainly wanted an engine bay cover to protect it from any uh, water that might come through the vents. So that's why I went with this one. But I'm happy with that. Um, I do need to change that at some point. Horrible red, get that purple or something, but yeah, I think that looks pretty clean. And when it's painted or anodized, I think that will look a lot better as well. So I'm just gonna close the, uh, close the bonnet. There we go guys, all done. Simple as that. And there we go guys, that is literally it such a simple and quick easy mod i think that probably is one of the quickest and the easiest things that i've actually done to the car to this date um but yeah perfectly designed it's got us in mind with just the, the ease of fitting do use that discount code i'll just pop it here jmnc10 just for 10 percent off they're cheap enough anyway guys but the, the 10 percent is just a little a little extra in it really and i think they do look pretty decent as well so there is dif different designs on his website if you do want to go with just looks for example um i think the other one does look kind of cool it does show the hd lead so if you've got like a different color hd lead for example that will still be showing man like jason yeah man i don't know what that background music was but it had a lot of vibe in it, it had a lot of oriental vibes which i thought was quite sick so send me links out because that's hard but yeah massive shout out to him for doing a video on my product and i'm so happy it was so positive let's see what the comments are saying nice quality item very nice and looked very good quality that's what we do boys um yeah shout out to jason for doing that video mate because i had two orders this morning using your discount code don't use discount codes, please pay full price. <laughs> I'll probably cut out all of the discount codes that he said, but yeah, now, if you want to use a discount code, if you're representing JMN Carter, use his discount code, you'll go to his video, then you'll watch and to find out what that is. But yeah, that was sick. New parts coming soon. Massive shout out to Jason for doing that. Really nice, humble guy. And yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. And just for a girl, I want to say, that was one take. Normally, you obviously don't know because you can't see behind the scenes, but I have to do like five, six takes minimum. So yeah, one take. Massive shout out to you again, Jason. Peace.